Hi guys, it's me, Lindsay. Um, I just got back from my break, basically. I'm back in my apartment, which feels really good. I just did all my unpacking from my luggage, and I mean, I'm not crazy about work starting again soon, because it's gonna be busy season, but it feels nice to have all my like supplies and all my stuff put away from Christmas. I don't know, I was feeling kind of disorganized living out of a suitcase. But I had such a nice break. One really other fun thing that happened was I got my CPA bonus, which was taxed really heavily, which I didn't expect. But that's going to come in my future tax refunds because I should not have been taxed that much. Like, I did not make really that much money this year considering I've only started working full time since October. So with that money, I'm going to show you guys. I paid off two student loans, so a little bit over $2,000 worth. Um, I spent some of that money on this camera here that I'm filming with. And I have another $500 left that I have plans for that is going to pay off my um, private student loan um, from Salve Regina University. And that's done. So um, really fun, actually. Let me show you guys kind of what I did here. So I've been using this to pay off my student loans. Ignore this photo with my sister. <laughs> so um, this is the loan that I was working on. This is all done. So that's awesome. And then this loan here, which was the last one at this high interest rate, is now all done. This is the one that I'm working on now. So I need to redo this entire thing. Yeah. So that's done. So that one's done. And with that, I'm going to be writing down my kind of like new financial goals afterwards. But for now, I'm done unpacking. I'm going to go downstairs and kind of get ready for food shopping later. And stay tuned. So my room's looking a lot cleaner now, and I'm gonna go food shopping. And I have Whole Foods gift cards from the kind of like gift cards that my company gives us for walking and being healthy and stuff, which is really cool. I don't have anything for lunch or for dinner. And so I usually just end up doing like two bulk meals that last me throughout the week. So this is, you know, like this is about as much detail as I'm going to go into Whole Foods with. And then from there, I'm going to see what sounds really good to me. I'm going to have some crock pot action tonight when I'm relaxing. But do I know what's going to go in there? No, I have no clue. But one thing that I do know is I need a Ferrero Rocher before I go because I haven't had lunch yet. And it's... And it's like past one o'clock. Also, elephant in the room is that I'm not wearing any makeup and I feel like I look gross today because I've been sleeping on the couch for like the last week. So I cannot wait to finally have all my like beauty items and my own bed as much as I miss my boyfriend and his family. But it'll be nice to kind of like, you know, get back into the routine and kind of focus a little bit more on like my presentation of myself, <laughs> considering I haven't been really taking care of myself recently, I feel. Hi guys, so I got back from Whole Foods and I just had lunch. Um, I ended up having just some soup because I'm not super hungry, but so Whole Foods was a shit show, as it always is. It's crazy in there. So I got ground beef to have with rice and vegetables, some marinara sauce. I have chicken that's gonna go in the crock pot within the hour. I got bananas and onions that's gonna go in the crock pot with the chicken. I also got this rice is so good. You get so much out of this one bag. I really like rice. I'm a simple gal. And then I got two sweet potatoes, one of which fell onto the great Boston ground because it rolled out of my backpack. So I need to wash those. I also have veggies that I'll have with my beef and marinara sauce. I go food shopping with a backpack because I walk to the food store and I have scoliosis. So I'm not about to be like carrying a heavy bag on the side. Yeah. So my total was actually $31 for all of that. So that was pretty good because I got two soups, one of which I already ate. So all my groceries are away and now I'm kind of just in for the night. I'm not going to be leaving my house, that's for sure. Just really meal prepping and all that. But it is January 1st, so I'm concerned that I'm finally back in my apartment. 
I'm kind of just gonna work on my New Year's resolutions and write them down on my notepad here and make them look pretty and then put them up in my room. And I also wanna make a debt board where I can cross off each payment that I'm making and kind of establish my goals for my student debt this year. I'm hoping I can wipe out half of my student debt in one year. Um, that, that might be a little bit crazy, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it because I don't know, like, this is just like a topic for a whole other video, but I really struggle with, I'm in the minority, but saving too much and throwing away too much towards debt and not really focusing on the moment. Like my whole life is just always deferring gratification. And I kind of realize I need to like loosen up a little bit. That's a topic for a whole other video because it's something that I think about a lot. I already passed my CPA exams. I moved out, I started a new job. So now I'm just like, I don't know, the world's my oyster. Like now it's officially kind of like my map that I can kind of establish, I guess. Okay, so five New Year's resolutions. I like making ones that I can measure and that way I can kind of hold myself accountable. So first things first is I want to be able to get monetized on YouTube. So subscribe, <laughs> please. And another one is I want to pay off $10,000 of debt. Yeah, I'm going to write it down and I don't think I'm going to hit it, but that's okay because it's aim for the sky. Um, my third one is uh, kind of learn work-life balance. Just because going into busy season, I'm really afraid of just going into it as a first comer and I'm nervous about working seven days a week. I'm nervous about working until 11 p.m. at night. My fourth one is get closer to God and understand why I am a Christian and why that's something that I follow and that I embrace in life. And I think that there are some ways that I think I could become better at it and nobody's a perfect Christian, but it's something that's really important to me and I'm kind of ready to take bigger steps towards that. And then for my fifth one, treat myself more. And I mean that in a lot of different senses, just because like you already know, or what I've mentioned is I'm kind of frugal. I like to save. Um, I have a hard time saying no to people, favors for friends. And I kind of just wanna do things for myself a little bit more and stop thinking so much about whether other people think or even what I myself think about myself. Here they all are. So um, I have all my meal prep happening right now and I'll go ahead and show you guys. So just because I feel like such an adult, I'm making my brown rice here and that's doing well, might you say. It's already fluffing up, which is good. And then in the crock pot, I have my chicken and onions. The Alfredo had gone bad, but I found a different marinade. Um, this pasta here I'll be doing with my beef. I have sweet potatoes in the oven now. So it's, um, so it's pretty productive. And I'm thinking before I hang up and kind of just focus on myself for the night, I wanna show you guys my progress with my student debt because of my CPA exams that were passed. I told myself $1,000 no matter what is gonna to go to myself and treating myself and kind of rewarding myself for the work that I put in over the summer. But a beautiful $2,000 plus has gone towards my student loans and that is going to save me hundreds of dollars of interest in the future. And I wanna show you guys the ones that I paid off. And originally I thought this was gonna take weeks to pay off because I thought I failed reg, but lo and behold, I passed. But now I'm gonna show you guys kind of my progress. Here we have my loan details. This one I paid off months ago, um, right here, this subsidized one at 4.66% um, interest rate. But this one here, I just paid off $1,600 worth. And this one here I just paid off, which I'd been working on. And that one got down to about $700. If you go to my account summary, you guys can see that I now have finally less than $20,000 worth of debt with Maviant. And there's my most recent payment to over $2,000. And this needs to update to show my last two loans I just paid off, but I have a few loans paid in full, as you can see, which is three total. So stuff like that is incredibly important to me just because I want to pay off my debt for multiple reasons, but that was actually a really great reward for my CPA exam because 
I know buying bags and clothes is fun, but it's also really exciting to get closer towards financial liberty where I don't owe anybody money and I can do whatever I want with whatever I earn. So, all right, yeah, thanks guys for watching this vlog. It's super random, um, really casual, but I'll keep you guys posted. I definitely have a few video ideas coming up for the new year. Write down any video ideas that you guys might have for me. And thank you so much for subscribing. Almost at 1,000. Help me get there by subscribing if you liked what you saw. All right, so um, write down your New Year's resolutions down below. And um, happy 2019.